How many together since about three months? We're like almost in love. We've been doing a lot of good things together. He's a really funny guy. He's come a long way. I'm proud of everything he's doing. I'm glad to be a part of his life, and we'll make love later. Give it up for Jonathan Craig, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Jonathan Craig. I'm originally from Dayton, Ohio. Which sucks. <laughs> One good thing about Dayton, though, is that we did invent the airplane, right? And we did it during the exact same year that most people were still worried about building the automobile. Because we knew, you know, we knew. That while most people were content with just getting around, we knew that we were going to need something that would get us as far away from this shithole as possible. <laughs> I read an article the other day that said that cell phones are more hazardous than cigarettes. More hazardous than cigarettes. Now, even if that's true, I still think that only a small percentage of people are ever going to smoke a cell phone. <laughs> Can't even keep mine lit. <laughs> Anyone here tried the uh, P90X workout? Anyone? Jody. Let me tell you, man, that is... One person? Cool. Is that absolutely brutal or what? Absolutely brutal. That has got to be the most exhausting commercial I've ever sat through. I got a little tired just writing that joke. Sometimes I get winded chewing gum. My girlfriend said it's because I don't eat vegetables. Bitch, I had some ketchup yesterday. Don't you get off my ass. I think Catholic is a weird cult. <laughs> During communion, they ask you to drink the blood of Christ. Am I going to be a Christian or am I auditioning for Twilight? Because I don't know. But what I do know, though, is that Jesus was Jewish, which makes it slightly inappropriate to represent the body of Christ as some oven baked cracker. <laughs> That's not kosher. Anyone here use Google? I'm not sure that I could live without Google, but these days most devices come loaded with Bing. I'm not sure that Bing's ever really going to catch on, you know, because people love Google. That's all you got to say is I Googled it and that's the end of the argument. <laughs> That's how much people trust Google. I think that it's easy to trust Google, probably because we both come from a white background. I think that if Bing ever wants to be successful, they're going to have to change one letter. Instead of calling it Bing, they should have called it Bang. People love to bang stuff. I mean, sure, it's fun to Google Megan Fox, but it'd be a lot more fun to bang her. <laughs> but if you want to compete with Google, you're going to have to branch out, you know, go mobile, create an iPhone app. You could call it Finger Bang. <laughs> if you don't have time to bang something at home, you could just finger bang on the go. <laughs> So you're going to have to branch out further than that, you know, because Google's educational. You could use yours to educate people in the prison system with gangbang. <laughs> I'm not saying that all this would make it more successful than Google. This is just my bing-bang theory. <laughs> Went to Detroit last week with a buddy, and uh, I was like, whoa, man, check it out. There must have been uh, riots from that Lions game. And he was just like, nah, dude, that's just how Detroit looks. <laughs> must suck to live in a city that's such a dump you can't even riot I and mean, what are you gonna do burn down a six dollar house <laughs> that's how they celebrate Halloween <laughs> that's true <laughs> Halloween's right around the corner I'm not excited because I don't think that we need a holiday where kids can get hyped up on sugar and act crazy 
Because in America, that's not a holiday. That's a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> and kids ask me what Halloween's all about. I don't bullshit them. I give it to them straight. I tell them that it's mommy's last chance to dress like a whore before she gains winter weight. <laughs> what it's for. Mel Gibson's been in the news a lot here lately. Seems that Mad Max has finally reached the edge of darkness. I don't know how he got there. You think he would have just seen the signs. Apparently he has no idea what women want. Hopefully he does what any patriot would do. Grab a lethal weapon and hold her for ransom. As payback. That is unless she has a lethal weapon too. I, uh, me and Mel, we have a lot in common. Uh, I went to church a lot as a kid, but not like a good church. They didn't offer any of the perks that you'd find at most churches, like uh, hope, <laughs> <laughs> guidance, forgiveness. No, it was one of those kind of churches where like the priest just rules with an iron fist. Well, I don't know that it was actually iron. I just know that it was cold when he touched me. <laughs> I had a dream the other night that I got a chance to talk to God. I asked him all the hard-hitting questions that I think everyone would want to know. Like, uh, does heaven have Wi-Fi? <laughs> like strip clubs or cable? I mean, if there's one place that needs to update their brochure, it's heaven. <laughs> I'd probably do a lot less sinning if heaven appealed to me in some way. <laughs> Last I heard, they still pick you up in chariots. Bumpy-ass chariots. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to smell horse shit all the way to my eternal resting place in a gated community. God didn't have any answers for these questions, though. He just kept going on and on about his big plan. Like, who gives a shit, right? If you ask me, I think he's just lonely, you know? There aren't a lot of female gods up there, so... I uh, set him up an account on J-Date. I assume he's Jewish, you know, Jesus was. Let me tell you, the application process was a nightmare. You know, you think, oh, this is God, you know, this is going to be easy. But you got to keep in mind that he's also the leading cause of death. <laughs> and he's got a pretty long history. But I think that his good attributes outweigh the bad, you know, such as uh, well-established. He's pretty well-established. Uh, owns his own dimension. Mind reader, that one's a big one with the ladies. <laughs> Totally exists. I think that existing is an important attribute. Uh, which brings up a good question. If you were on a date with God and you sneezed, would he bless you? <laughs> Seems kind of pedestrian, doesn't it? Like, I can bless you. You think if you're on a date with God and you sneeze, he's like, oh, here's a puppy. <laughs> That's how you make puppies. Look it up. I think it's weird that uh, I can buy keychain pepper spray, but I can't buy keychain bug spray. I'm not afraid of people. I'm afraid of spiders. It's not helping me. Neither did that joke. Uh, let's see. Anyone here like mysteries? I love them. My, uh, my favorite mystery is waking up from a blackout. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of little mysteries all wrapped up into one. <laughs> Starting with, uh, whose yard is this? <laughs> Who punched me in the face? <laughs> Who pissed my pants? <laughs> little mysteries for you there. Life's little mysteries, right? That's, uh, that's all the time I have tonight, folks. Uh, you guys have been great. If you want to check out any of my uh, videos or upcoming shows, all you have to do is bang me. <laughs> my name is Jonathan Craig. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Keep it going for my man. Jonathan Craig.
Next on the stage, we got.